when it comes to politics, not everybody exactly sees eye to eye, even for members of the same party. Typically, there has been a line drawn in the sand separating certain people, depending what the issue was, if you happen to be a Democrat or a Republican. But the image of unity may be a thing of the past. KX, KX News' Adrian Oglesby sat down with one Republican leader to explain why. From redistricting back in 2021 to inner conflicts and changes, a lot has changed for the GOP. Now in 2024, KX News asked North Dakota's RNC National Committee woman Lori Hens the big question. Would you say that the party is unified? It's really impossible to unify a party. The only thing that unifies people as I see it is something like a horrific tragedy like 9-11. The whole country came together in that time. Every other thing that we have in our constitutional republic requires pushback, push and pull, checks and balances. And I think that's a good thing. That's what makes us stronger as a country. So when it comes to political party unification, Hin says she disagrees with the concept. If you're pushing unity, you're pushing not thinking, but just following. And I don't think that's the way Americans act, and I don't think that's the way we should act. She says even the GOP party members disagree with each other. You can try to make unity a thing. I like to say that we can unify around our platform. Mm -hmm. We can reunify around our values and our shared beliefs and push those forward. And as for big party topics like whether marriage should be between a man and a woman, Hens says there is unification there for the most part. I would say generally, yes. Okay. There are some people who um, have strayed from that, but that's in our platform. From your election headquarters, I'm Adrian Oglesby. Among national surveys, some of the hot button issues for voters expected to influence their trip to the ballot box include abortion, the economy, and climate change.